What is going on today guys, Tomcat here, and today we are back for a new GTA 5 mod review, and today we're going to be looking at the gorgeous Lexus LFA Nürburgring Edition. I, I love this car. I mean, if you had, if, if I had to choose any one car that I would use for, like, a combination of track day car, daily driver, mountain run car, I mean, this thing would be way up there on the list, for sure. I love the LFA, and the Nürburgring Edition just pushes it over the edge. It's just such a gorgeous car, and I wish we actually had the sound files to actually hear it. And I don't know if anybody's made a conversion for that yet, but to actually hear the, uh, the actual sound of the LFA, and, oh my god. Th these things, they scream. They're like, think of it this way. Someone took a demon... And pretty much like they took a they, they, someone took a demon and tortured the hell out of it and basically put it inside of an of an engine and it's just always been in there screaming constantly to this day in inside inside every single LFA V10 and I wish we could hear that right now because it's such a glorious sound the LFAs they sound so angry too they sound so like it's such a like, seriously, no better term for it. It's such a pissed off kind of sounding car. And it's not in the same way that, like, a Ferrari sounds like music. A Lamborghini. A Lamborghini shirt sure, sounds very angry. Uh, bleh, very angry, but it also sounds very musical. The LFA, yes, it sounds musical, but this thing just sounds pissed, man. It just sounds. Not in GTA, obviously, but in real life. God, these cars are screamers. Now, as far as the GTA 5 version goes, the, the modder did a really good job with all of the conversions and the modding and everything like that, except for one little thing. Look at where Franklin is sitting. He's kind of sort of sitting inside the seat, not actually in the seat, and that can be a little bit of an issue if you're, I don't know, if you like to play the game from that angle or play the game from, hey, what's up, bro? Play the game from that view, but... It's still, nonetheless, it's still a fun car to drive, even if it's got one or two quirks to it. I mean, every mod is going to... Come on! There you go. Nice Raptor, bro. But let's actually go ahead and do some first-person view driving, because the steering wheel and the tack do actually work. And it's kind of nice to be able to look around inside, you know, your LFA Nürburgring Edition. And I'm just like, your LFA Nürburgring Edition. And I don't know why I've changed my voice all of a sudden. It just sort of came to me, I don't know, and I was just like, nah, I'll change the voice all of a sudden. But let's go actually back to- th OH MY GOD! Back to third person. So we can stare at that absolutely freaking gorgeous LFA booty. But, oh my god, we've pretty much gone off the- yeah. We're- <laughs> like, we've gone off the road. It's alright though. We have vehicle god mode on. So many raptors that spawn out here. I can't even remember what I replaced with that. Like, I know I haven't replaced the Sand King yet, so it can't be that. I think it was some other truck, obviously. But I definitely know it wasn't the Sand King, because I just saw one go past. And I think the thing is... I mean, sure, it's dependent on where you are on the map. But still, I mean, sometimes it seems like the game just decides to spawn a ton of, like, one specific type of vehicle. I mean, it's whatever. It's not like it's breaking the game or anything, but still. Alright. Now, off-roading in an LFA Nürburgring Edition. It's time. Let's do this. <laughs> Welcome to How to Be an Idiot Part 1. Off-road Alexis LFA Nürburgring Edition. Not really, but... It's really fun. It's really fun. So, I mean... I don't know. Sometimes sometimes idiotic things are extremely fun. So, this, this being one of them, absolutely... Actually, if we turn around, if we flip around real quick, there's an absolutely sweet jump. There's a- you ever take it off any sweet jumps? Hmm? But no, seriously, there's a sick jump in this direction. If we can line it up properly. Oh yeah. Oh yes, here we go. Come on! The Flying LFA. Nürburgring. Edition. Now available on Craigslist. <laughs> Minor body damage. Only jumped twice. The usual. Asking $850,000. But... <laughs> oh god. Going... Th just browsing through Craigslist and like the cars section. 
can be really, really entertaining, especially, like, even if you're not looking for a car, if you just go to the automotive section on Craigslist and just browse, you find some pretty weird stuff. I mean, I've found... Let's see. I've, I, I will admit that the automotive section on Craigslist is a little bit of a, like... I don't know. It's sort of a... It's sort of a, like... Not hobby, but, like, a random pastime of mine just to sit there and scroll through and just see what, like, what random cars people are selling. Because you'll find some cool stuff every once in a while. I mean, you'll find, like... I found one time... Um, an old Beetle with, uh, with some sort of ridiculous engine swap and, like, a whole Baja suspension setup. That was pretty badass. But you also find, like, I mean, sure, you find a lot of crap, but you also find some pretty cool stuff. I mean, I found, I've, I've found, like, older Camaros, Chevelles, older Mustangs, um, S13s. I saw, I did see an actual Sylvia S13 one time, and it's just, I don't know, it's kind of entertaining because you're, like, you're, you're going through, you're scrolling through them and you're, like, crap. Crap, crap, crap. Ooh, I want! And it's just like, every once in a while, that random car will jump out, out at you, and you're like, holy crap, I need this in my life. Like, right now, I, I'll, I'll, I'll grab my pickup truck and a trailer, and I'll head right down there and I'll trailer at home because I need this. But, I think the LFA Nürburgring Edition is definitely one of those cars where it's, it's one of those I need this kind of cars, you know what I mean? Because you look at it and you're like, seriously, you're like, I need this. I need this in my life. But, oh, come on! The weird frame lag. Oh boy. Here we go! <laughs> All the flight. I mean, I know it's got a wing, but damn. Now, I think final thoughts on this mod, as far as, like, as far as how I feel about it. I think they did a really good job with it. I think they need to fix that seat issue. I think they need to fix a couple of other things uh, as well, like the um, the texture on the wing is just a little bit off. It's just kind of like a matte black, and I would I would prefer it to have a little bit of an extra texture on it, maybe some reflective quality. But other than that, I think they did a really nice job with this mod. If you want to add a, a car to your kind of you know supercar garage or ultimate car collection or whatever you're kind of building up to in GTA, this is definitely a worthy addition. I would highly recommend it to anybody, again, that's that's wanting to really, really, and truly upgrade their car collection and add, and add something pretty freaking nice. Honestly, thank you. But if you guys enjoyed this video, then don't forget to leave me a like by clicking that like button. Tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to my channel and want to see more GTA 5 mods, including supercars, trucks, random cars, and, um... And since we act, since we generally play in third person view, lots and lots and lots of supercar rear end and you know booty basically. Then don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comment section. Oh, I already said that, didn't I? Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to all of you guys later. You guys are you guys are awesome. Peace out.